Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode once again. One of the things I'd like to do is to uh, attack the Lich in the Twilight Forest. And Andrew Jai Michinaga suggests that I build a rapier. So that's what we're going to do today. I think I'm going to do, attack the Lich fairly soon actually because I'm getting prepared. So let's look, here I've got the, the book, Materials New Volume 2. And in the middle of this we have a, a recipe for the rapier. And the rapier is a special weapon because it can do more than 100% of damage, which also means it can go through armour, so it can go through the shields of the lich. So what we need is a sword blade, a tool rod and a crossbar. Okay. Now I've already prepared, I've already made previously some of these items. I've already got them here, a toolboard and uh, a sword blade. So we need the crossbar. So to do that, we need to go to the pattern stencil and select crossbar. I think that's crossbar. It is. So we take one of these stencils. What we also need, of course, is some cobblestone to make the, cast, the initial cast. So I have to go downstairs. And I haven't got any cobblestone because I put it away. Oops, to go over that thing. Let's just take a stack of cobblestone. I might have some upstairs actually, thinking about it. I'm not 100% sure. Better safe than sorry. Right, where are we? So I need the pattern table. So what to do is to put the crossbar pattern in here with some cobblestone. And here I have a, cross, a crossbar pattern and a shard. Okay, what I can now do is make sure if I haven't got those, which I didn't, oh, I didn't have any cobblestone in here. Let's put the the, sh uh, the, the stone shard in here, and the cobblestone must be, did I leave the cobblestone here? Yes, I did. And let's put the cobblestone in here as well. In fact, it used two, so we know that the cost, that the material cost of this is probably going to be about two. So the next thing we need to do, I'm not quite sure I'm going to do this, but we'll make a cast for it anyway, a gold cast. So here I have some molten gold, and here I have some uh, molten aluminium brass, which is actually cheaper than gold, so we'll use that. Let's put the, sh let's put the crossbar here, here, and then make the cast. When the cast's set, we can remove the crossbar, and we can also remove the gold. Of course, I need to go to the, the right one and get the crescent hammer out. And let's put that back up. So everything's going to be in the wrong place, isn't it, today? So let's put it up here, number four. So now I've got three casts. One for the crossbar, one for the sword, and one for the, the tool rod. And then I want to get some molten steel. And I've got here... That's just a portable tank. I've got a load of multiple molten steel somewhere. Here it is. Yes, I've got to about, oh, I don't know how many ingots that is. Divide that by 144 and you'll find out how many ingots it is, quite a few. So we take the steel down here and we'll put it on the back here. And then we can simply make the cast here like that. So now we have the crossbar cast. What else do we want? We want to. Uh, sword blade and a tool rod. But I'm not 100% sure what the best combination for these are at the moment. It certainly doesn't do any harm having extra bits. So we can move this out of the way. Turn uh, it around, doesn't make any difference. Of course it's now gone to the wrong place because I've got a steel tool rod in here. So if it's anything like the other patterns, it might not be optimal to have um, steel everywhere. I'm sure that the best one to have is a steel blade here, and a steel tough rod, maybe, and a crossbar. Let's see what it tells me. Attack two hearts modifies three. So what we're going to also do is to get out of this just as a, 
one of Dummy Vomi's dogs has got out and is uh, making him play the game is in the way. So I should be able to just get some paper and possibly some slime. Slimy grass will do, I think. Those are usually good combinations for things like that. Maybe a slime crystal is usually a good combination. So let's go back to the pattern chest and see what we can make out of this one. Right, we can make a is that stone crossbar. Oh yes, throw out a paper crossbar. Take the paper out of the way. Let's put a crystal in here. Slimy crossbar and some leaves. Yes, just a shard. Oh, that may have been from the previous. Oh, those are only can only use those for fletching. So okay, fine. So we've got three. So let's see if now what happens if we replace. Go back to the rapier here. Replace the sh the paper crossbar. So it's got two hearts, durability. Now we've got modifier four. Still two hearts, and the durability didn't change at all. So obviously paper is much better as a crossbar. Slimy. Modifier three. So that. It's not as good, I think. The durability didn't change. In fact, so that looks like a good combination. I'm not sure about the handle. I suspect the handle's the tool, tool rod. So we could try something else for the handles. But I think we'll leave it like this and take a steel one. And then, of course, what we're going to do is we'll add, add things to the modifiers to this. We've got four to add, so we can add a... Uh, presumably the best one to add is a hardened um, capacitor so that we get uh, auto repairing so it doesn't break and some I would imagine some sharpness so we'll look what it says in the book um, I think it's still in the book on me yes some of the modifiers I think they're at the back of the book could try you see we could try another tool rods here Stone bound level changes the levels here. Alimite. But steel's fairly good actually. Slime rods. Alright, slime crystals. Paper, we've done that one already. Cobalt, co malinium, copper, steel, pig iron. Right, here we go. So, of course, we can increase the durability by adding a diamond, which we don't need to do if we've got a capacitor because the durability doesn't seem to go down. But maybe it's well worth adding some redstone to make it go faster, or faster attacking. We don't need the... We could possibly use fire. Don't know. Luck, we don't really need. Here we have the... In fact, it's actually got the rapier or the sword here. Increases them. Um, has less effect on tools with piercing properties. So I guess that the... Um, but it does increase the attack damage, so I guess the rapier is probably not a great choice, but sets the enemies on fire. I could add some blaze powders into that, that would be no problem. And the necrotic bone helps the player every time the monster is attacked, heals the player every time the monster That's probably quite a good one, especially if we were attacking a, a, a lich. And of course you've got, I don't think we need Silky. Reinforced, so. And this is the one I wanted in here, so I wanted basically to do the Therm Expansion Hardened Flux Capacitor. Okay. I think we could go and do that now, or we could wait until a, another time. Let's have a look. Let's see how, if I got to do the hardened flux capacitor, how quickly I can do that one. I don't want to have a terribly long video, if it's possible. Right, here we go. So we need, uh, if I remember rightly, we need the leadstone flux capacitor as a basis. So that's fairly straightforward. Two leads. I think that's a copper in the middle. I didn't really check that carefully. Three redstone and one sulfur, I guess that is. I'll have to just try that. Yes. And then we could press the usage on this one and see what we have. So this will be the hard flux combustor. So we need invar and tin. Are pretty straightforward. 
So again, just three redstone. Actually, to be quite honest with you, I've made this loads of times. I should know the recipe by now. And Inva. I've tried using other flux capacitors, but they didn't work. And as you see, I've put the wireless charger charges up almost straight away. So we can attach that. And we want some quartz, don't we? So let's take some quartz with us. Should have plenty of that around here somewhere. It is. Take a stack of that, two stacks, and some redstone. Yes. Oops, so we need to go up, don't I? Right. So back to the tool forge, and we want to do. Ah, uh, let's make some red. Let's make some redstone blocks first of all. Because that makes it, you can put it on much faster than that now. Let's take six and it gives us a nice optimum, good number. And we can do the same with the quartz blocks. We'll take 16 of those like that. Right, back to the tool forge. Let's put the rapier into place. Of course, it's on the other side. Let's move it up here so we can see. Right, one rapier, we'll put the rapier in here. So now we shall add the hardened resin. That's the wrong one. So again, it's on the other side. Let's add the redstone to it first of all. It doesn't want to work. As the redstone doesn't work on this one. It's okay, let's add the... I wanted an acrostic bone, didn't I? Maybe I've got one of those in here, so I have a look. a few of those. Okay, so we can have, it's got four of 72. So let's put those down there. And we've got now 10. In fact, it'd be quicker to do it the other way around and just do it like this. 21, 29, eight each time, of course. Sixty-five and four would be sixty-nine. Ah, one more. Forgot on here. Seven. Oh, right. I need two more. Seventy-one. Seventy-two. So I wanted to put a necrotic bone on here. I think. I should give it a bit of. I'm not sure how many we're allowed we're allowed to put on that. It's probably one. Let's just take one. So it does. Oh, can put more. Necrotic two. But I think that will then use the last modifier. We'll leave that off for the time being. So I see. I hear a zombie outside. Let's go and give it a test on the zombie outside. Oh, there it is in the water. And there's a spider there as well. Oh, not too bad. Worked quite nicely on the spider. But I could also put a blaze, uh, some blaze, blaze powders on here, couldn't I? Let's do that. There's no shortage of blaze powders, I think in this chest here well blaze rods are anyway so oh it's got two in here i've got too much stuff on my now so i have got to get rid of some of this stuff as well what am i going to do with that oh, i know let's put let's put this another quartz here. it's not the oh no put it in like this fine and we want to make a few those i think the best place for that was the actually the macerator i think the macerator gave me five While that's going on, since I can't use the redstone, let's put the redstone up here. And also let's put the, convert this as well back to redstone so we can put it in there. And the macerator, yes I get five from the macerator. And I think 
Let's try that on the, the rapier too. That should be quite fun. Actually, I've, I've forgotten something, haven't I? I haven't put on the crystal. Crystal, yeah, I better do that first, haven't I? Control zero. Yes, here we are. Try again. There we go. And I still have another modifier remaining, so. Well, if that's remaining one. Okay, so we can put some blaze powders on here as well. But now we can have 25 blaze powders. Okay, we'll do that. So this will set the enemies on fire, give me healing, and adds increases the sharpness. Should be an interesting weapon. So I need 25. So I needed another four in the in the macerator. While those are while those are grinding up, let's just put those back again to the chest over here. You can see lots of netherite going down there now from the nether quarry. That's what I've got in here that don't want zombie flesh to need that. And the quartz crystals we can get rid of as well. I move things around, I can't remember where I put them. Jump over that invisible block. Ace rate is now finished, got 20. Back to the tool forge. So. What have we got now? Three. Five. I'll take a few times. I wonder if you could actually put blaze rods on it. Thirteen. Twenty-two. Let's take those off like that. We should have twenty-five exactly, so. That's it. So we have Quartz, 72, Necrotic, Flux and Blaze. How about that then? It's still not time, we can go and test it again. Bound to be something out here. Oh, Creeper is probably not the best thing to test on. Oh, didn't kill the Creeper until he blew up. And also being in water doesn't help with the, the fire property of that, does it? Here's a, here's a skeleton, we'll get him. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, what fun. He still blows up though, I don't need to use the, the proper weapons on him, but yeah, that's a fairly good demonstration. It's coming to morning. So, I'll say goodbye for now.